the, the Republic of Georgia and the United States of Collaborating schools and organizations. 
supervisors, counterparts, and host family members. Peace Georgia permanent and training staff. Current, former, and soon to be volunteers. I warmly welcome you to the swearing in ceremony for the 14th group of American Peace Corps volunteers to serve in Georgia. We call them Georgia 14 or G14. President John F. Kennedy established Peace Corps in 1961 with a promote, uh, mission to promote world peace and friendship. He and the first director of the Peace Corps, Sergeant Shriver, were sure that thousands of Americans would step up and say, I will serve in the cause of uh, peace and freedom around the world. Indeed, over 215,000 volunteers have served all over the world since 1961. And over 550 volunteers have served in Georgia since the program started in 2001. Today we welcome 53 new volunteers to work side by side with you, almost double the size of our group last year, and that's a testament to the strong support that we get from the government of Georgia. G14 represents the rich diversity of the Americans of the United States well. Collectively, these American citizens originate from 26 of the United States and five countries. Uh, they range in age from 20 to 63. They worked in fields such as education, international development, business development, and law. They play the piano, paint, garden, cook, and do magic. They speak languages such as Russian, Spanish, French, Japanese, and Korean. And now they have all begun to speak cartoon. <laughs> And of these 53, 38 will work in our English education project in secondary schools. And 15 will work in the individual and organizational development project in NGOs and other organizations. We are proud to play a role in addressing the priority of people-to-people -people and cultural exchange under the U.S.-Georgia Charter on Strategic Partnership. And we do this through our grassroots community development efforts in the fields of education, community economic development, and other focus areas. Volunteers understand well that development occurs through appreciation of, respect for, and collaboration with the peoples and communities that they serve. Our volunteers work in 10 regions across the country. 
And we're proud that this year we're expanding back into areas of Sumabrello and Sheeta Partly that we haven't been since uh, before the 2008 one. Our focus is on reaching communities most in need. And I'm proud that over 50% of the G4 T assignments will be in schools and organizations that serve IDPs, ethnic minorities, and people in remote and rural areas. Six of the volunteers will work in assignments that primarily serve IDPs, and four volunteers will live and work directly in IDP settlements. Okay, G14. Uh, this marks your passage from Peace Corps trainee to Peace Corps volunteer. And we're gathered to celebrate the end of 11 intense weeks of training and the beginning of two years of service. It's not easy to make the decision to leave the United States and make a home for yourself in a new country. And the path to becoming a volunteer today has required you to make many adjustments and adaptations. You will continue to open yourselves to new people, new experiences, and new ways of doing things. I know you will approach your work with professionalism. And your service must be based upon sincerity and respect for the people of Georgia and a desire to help them meet their own needs, priorities, hopes, and dreams. We expect you to work hand in hand with your Georgian colleagues, speak the Georgian language, and become an integral part of your community. As our current Peace Corps director, Carrie Hessler Radliff, has said, so much of what we do is really based on the development of strong relationships. We expect you to spend as much time as possible in your communities so you are able to build and nurture those relationships with your Georgian families, colleagues, and friends. I have confidence that you will meet every expectation and carry out your work with enthusiasm. I encourage you to immerse yourselves in the experience, jump in with both feet, be inquisitive, and approach every situation and encounter with enthusiasm and an open mind. I know many of you have expressed how quickly your Georgian host families, community members, and colleagues have embraced you. And I know that you have already embraced Georgia. And even though you arrived here as an American, you will leave at least a little bit Georgian.
G14's initiation into the Peace Corps today marks the end of service for some of our volunteers. Volunteers who are completing your service this summer, can you please stand and remain standing? So please stay standing and can we have um, the volunteers who are in the middle of your service right now in Georgia also please stand. Just one week ago this group uh, passed the one year mark of their service in Georgia. There are also former Peace Corps volunteers in the audience who have served perhaps in Georgia and perhaps in other countries. Could I ask you to please stand? I know I speak for many of us, current or former volunteers, when I say that we are somewhat envious of the journey you are about to start today. I wish you a safe and rewarding experience. And on behalf of the entire staff, congratulations, good luck, and thank you. We are proud of you and we are here to support you every step of the way. At this time, I would like to invite our guest, a representative of the Ministry of Education and Science, Deputy Minister Gergi Sharbashid. Your Excellency, <coughs> Ambassador Norland, distinguished guests, dear friends and colleagues, uh, staff from Peace Corps volunteers and volunteers to be. I would like to welcome you on behalf of Ministry of Education and Science of Georgia and convey my heartfelt gratitude to the U.S. government, U.S. Peace Corps and U.S. Embassy in Georgia for support that he was giving us for those years. I would like to assure you that we highly appreciate the genuine effort made by each American volunteer, as well as every single representative of Georgian school, CPO, NGO, and Georgian families. I am delighted that the Ministry of Education and Science has been closely and efficiently cooperating with the U.S. Peace Corps since 2001. As you well know, in 2001, the Peace Corps launched its uh, education program to teach English at secondary schools in Georgia with the objective to improve English communication skills for both students and teachers, as well as bringing in modern education and teaching methodologies. But the larger I can do Pass down the village Roma, 
the Ambassador of the United States to Georgia, Ambassador Richard Norland, who will provide remarks as well as administer the oath of service. Uh, we know both Americans, Dr. Richard Norland, so <laughs> Thank you, Minister Steve Haken from USAID, the Mission Director. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, and volunteers of all stripes, uh, past, present, and, and future. Uh, first, let me say uh, the, the, the group that sang the national anthems did a great job. But uh, I can tell you right now, in two years, uh, when you sing the Georgian national anthem again, you'll be able to do it in, in the local polyphonic uh, tradition, and you're going to blow everybody away. Um, I'd like to just say something about uh, about two themes, something about peace and something about optimism. Um, this is the Peace Corps. It's designed to promote world peace and friendship. And in case people forget from some to uh, time to time that this is uh, a really relevant theme, then uh, the terrible news overnight of uh, the downing of a Malaysian airliner in Ukraine as a result in some way or another of the violence going on there is, is just another reminder that this is not a theoretical subject, that what you're doing and those of you who've been involved in this so far, what you've done is tremendously relevant to the world we live in today. <laughs> And as the minister reminded us, it wasn't that long ago that Georgia itself was going through a period of turmoil and civil war. Things have gotten infinitely better here. Um, and what you're going to be doing is continuing to build the bridges and the connections that keep Georgia moving forward on a path towards peace and prosperity. <laughs> Now, you know, Americans are by nature known to be optimistic and optimistic people. But uh, President Kennedy and the Peace Corps represent the most optimistic of the optimists. And the wonderful thing is that you're here in Georgia now at a time of great promise and great optimism in Georgia too. From here I'm going to go this afternoon to the uh, to where Parliament sits in Kutaisi and the Georgian Parliament is going to ratify uh, Georgia's EU, uh, the association agreement it signed on June 27th with the European Union. And that agreement marks a, a, a great moment of optimism and promise for this country, moving closer to its European roots, of uh, integrating Georgia's economy with Europe, of eventual visa-free travel to Europe, and of Georgia finding its home again in Europe. There's great promise in the air now with the conclusion of the political season, where after about a year and a half of elections, 
Uh, Georgia probably will not have elections again for another two years, and there's an opportunity to focus on moving the country forward. I think you're going to find in the towns and the villages where you're, you'll be living that people are looking at the question of how can we create a future-oriented agenda that will create political stability, a promising investment climate, growth for the economy, and jobs, jobs, jobs. And I'm here to tell you that the United States supports that future-oriented agenda. We know there are the issues of the past which need to be addressed, and those are important. But unless the government working with the opposition can build a solid economic foundation for the future, you won't be able to achieve any of your goals. So you're here at a time of great uh, challenge and great promise for this country. As the, the minister said, um, you know, there has been a great change in recent years. I myself was here 21 years ago for about six months when Georgia was torn apart by warlords and uh, uh, electrical blackouts and uh, great turmoil, and when you see how far this country has come, uh, and you know you're in a position to help secure that for the future and continue to help it grow and thrive, you know you have a great opportunity and a great responsibility, and we're proud to work with you together on that. I want to thank the Georgian partners in this enterprise, the government and the host families and all of those who make it possible for these Americans to, to experience this unique opportunity to live so closely with Georgian friends. And I love hearing that the oldest volunteer is only 70 because that tells me I can still become a Peace Corps volunteer. So congratulations to Peace Corps volunteers past, present and future and I'm prepared to administer the oath. So if I could ask you all to stand, please, and raise your right hand. I say your name. Do solemnly swear or affirm. Support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, and that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I take this obligation freely, without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. 
and that I will well and faithfully, faithfully discharge my duties in the Peace Corps. Congratulations, you're now Peace Corps. Education volunteers 
that will serve in Georgia for 2014 and 16 years. Uh, Champions of the Battery of the Battery of the Battery of the of the Battery of the This will undoubtedly take strength of character. However, I have nothing but confidence that each and every one of us can fulfill these expectations, and I look forward to the friendships that we will build in the process. The core expectations that we volunteers will meet are First, prepare your personal and professional life to make a commitment to serve abroad for a full term of 27 months. Commit to improving the quality of life of the people with whom you live and work, and, in doing so, share your skills, adapt them, and learn new skills as needed. Serve where the Peace Corps asks you to go, under conditions of hardship, if necessary, and with the flexibility needed for effective service. 
recognize that your successful and sustainable development work is based on the local trust and confidence you build by living in and respectfully integrating yourself into your host community and culture. Recognize that you are responsible 24 hours a day, seven days a week for your personal conduct and professional performance. Engage with host country partners in a spirit of cooperation and mutual learning and respect. Work within, work within the rules and regulations of the Peace Corps and the local and national laws of the country where you serve. Exercise judgment and personal responsibility to protect your health, safety, and well-being and that of others. Recognize that you will be perceived in your host country and community as a representative of the people, cultures, values, and traditions of the United States of America. And lastly, represent responsibly the people, cultures, values, and traditions of Georgia and your community to people in the United States, both during and following your service. Thank you, Pat. My little guys. And at this time, I would like to welcome two more of the brand new G14 group to the stage. Ms. Jenny Fan will represent the English Education Project, and Mr. Colin Plaisance will represent the individual and organizational development project. I want to thank you very much for your support. I want to thank you very much for your support. I want to thank you very much for your individual organization and organization. First, I would like to thank everyone for being here today and for celebrating this momentous day that has been three months in the making for the trainees and even longer for Peace Corps staff members. People like Shima Tobaski is to the same thing. The same thing is the same thing. The same thing is the same thing. The same thing is the same thing. For many of us, myself included, our 12-week pre-service training has been an extremely intense and unique experience. Although we are all here for different reasons, we are here for the same goal. And for us, being here means saying goodbye to our families, giving up our jobs, our car, and for a few of us, few of us, maybe even a house. We were trying to to some open additional subjects and dance with the boys. Some of our students are not us. We are trying to do the activities that our boys are doing. But that pales in comparison to the experience we have already had over the past three months. We have done a few circular bits and a little bit of bowls and we just got a little bit of a shake. Whether it's struggling through four-hour Georgian lessons, sitting through lengthy technical sessions, or asking our host families to buy emailets to shake the lot over and over again. That's a really upset thing. I can't believe it's going to be that hard. But that's how we take it. We're so sorry. But to my friends, I'm just going to be smart. Come on, we're going to have it. Can I go to shake the lot? We have all worked exceptionally hard to reach this day. But more importantly, we have also given support to and found support in each other in order to make this day possible. Twin Gansa could probably more do with you, Mushawa, from Dreman de Dresh and Kariko. Two so from Mushawa and Yaro, eight man is done of merit and Dream de Mosas Fellot. During pre service training, we have all faced challenges and difficulties, including language lessons and learning how to integrate into a Georgian village. Tina Samsa for over the training is just well a trend as not a gamut of visa the season of the Sina Shinako. Majority of the way is Kakati Levy, Kartu Tenshi de Grazia. But we have also worked our way through these challenges, 
appreciating the little successes along the way and have come out better on the other side. Tumsa gada ula khet gamo zoro bi amsh tuk zaza mister uli pata razar na tebo bis mesho uli sta sabet nirot agushnit meore mchalis. This has made us more resilient for challenges we may encounter over the next 24 months of service. Am ola perma uketi mo gamo zada mom dem nori tlis kan nolo bashi shesat lo sizne lebis gasa kwa. And we have learned how to conjugate countless verbs, plan English lessons, and utilize strategies for becoming true members of our host families. And I am sure we have also learned a great deal about ourselves, about facing situations that surprisingly brought out the best in us and showed us how much more we are capable of accomplishing. Հարձվում է բոլիվար սակութարի թավելուս ուկե չեմ ես ձավոլիտ։ Սավաց դետ սիտուածի եվ սրամաս չվեն դադեմի թին խարեր բիտա շեսաց հապովը բիտակարնախ։ Աս դետ սկտորդին պրի սրվիս տրենին կմս տ May we continue to learn and find support in each other for the next 24 months in Georgia. Modit kanarbus zalo da etvanitis dakhmareba mundemno uritsis mantsolze sakartvelshi. Hello, Sat. Kamajoba. Nebar kalom tezansi. Nebar individualuri. The Organizatsiyan Lulu, Programmis Mokhalitse. Today we embark on an incredible adventure. An adventure is any situation in which you do not know what will happen next, but are very excited to find out. After the past 12 weeks of building strong relationships with Americans and Georgians alike, we once again will venture out to the unknown. Bolo tarbati kuris mandulze, Amerikani sada kartvalu shoris kari uftirte bo bishamo kali bo bishemdek. Shwe kide vertkhalu bitas ruya dusnu kare moshimokot. And I know we are all very excited to find out what happens next. Dame bitiram chwa bolo didi interesi tuvel bitiram mukteba shadek. I know that there will be many moments of sheer joy during our service. Tarz mina bolivar bevis hasi khalu hasi khalu momenti bo elis mushabu speriyoch. It may be that a grant proposal your organization submitted in the last second before it was due, or that moment when your student shows you how much they've learned. As it shows the way most organizations merge several of these cast from their teams and cadre sheets and list Instagram to Ghana's Hadi. At the moment, the audience has most of the discussion between two rounds and the other students. I'm sure we can expect many trying moments as well. Tum sa sabe darat na kuli varo ikne ba kano zoro. There will be times of isolation and times of confusion. Ikne ba marta obis na tapne obis na yote. But as my father always told me, you can either be here and do something great, or be here and be miserable. Either way, you're here. Rogers, my mother said, "Don't be afraid. She said she didn't leave you alone. I get in the rain and you fall on us. And you walk that house because you're not good. Or you should push it." I challenge all my fellow volunteers to never forget the importance of the work we are doing. Chance we'll never know how to say what I'm going to do. It's in a show. I'm not going to tell you it's not true. It's actually not going to be true at all. In the English education program. We will be doing far more than teaching a new language. English is already part of this program, and children can see that we are doing a lot of good work. We will be showing you how to better understand the world and help the world better understand them. Children are helping us to solve problems that we have. We are doing a lot of good work. 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 Սուլածանար այս շեմ թխոյությունում ուծխոյնի շեստավ ուսաս իրոլ լիկ շիվծալով ծակութարի թավիս ծարկինաս։ Next we learn to say what we have, what we need, what we like, and whom we love. Շեմ դոն գիվ ամոգ թուրակ ու ավստրակ չիվ դեր բարամ ու ուսոստավ ինգ դիպարս Ultimately, we will be teaching others to build true relationships through the English language. In the individual and organizational development program, we will be working to continue development of the great attributes people understand about themselves and helps them see beyond that current capacity. 
Individual with the organization will be able to program a sheet. Should I mean, Matthew's not to be to the book's gun with Arabic guns and the Bosada. Matthew has a little more is near Master Bully Hebris, Chamber by Bush Tower. So, as we now go forward to our service in Georgia, we know that some days we will be very frustrated at the slow pace of not seeing immediate results. I follow this at Tresa Cartolo Shimova Dogos with the Tartu the Boulevard of Jerry Heba, a sea brother of his Navy Swiss Gang Heba Gamuzo, East Russia, the Gates of Adam Davina House. But we need to not limit ourselves by our circumstances or our past mistakes. It is the duty of every person to collectively look at the world and always say, we can do better. And we need to remember that it is not about how quickly we get to see in the horizon, but about how much of the horizon we are able to see. And we will not get to the horizon by ourselves. We will get there together. God Thank you. 